Avira 10. I'm going to do two videos. One is installation and configuration because the default settings are no good. And the second video will be testing it with malware. Now the downloads are around about 42 megabytes. Click continue and it will unpack the files ready to install. Now this works on Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, 32-bit and 64-bit machines. Once it's unpacked, click next. Accept the terms of the license agreement which state it may not be used for commercial or professional purposes. Click next and you also have to accept that it will only be used for private use only in the free version. Click next. Express the standard components will be installed. You can also create a system restore point if you so wish. I've already created one so I will click next and allow the program to install. Now optional registration. You need to fill out your details here if you want to register. Otherwise untick this box. Click next and allow it to install the program. Once it's installed, click finish and it will then scan for updates. On your desktop you'll have the control center icon and you'll also have the umbrella in your system tray. Now it will scan for the updates, it will download and install the latest definition files. And this will take a few minutes. After this it will then perform a quick system scan. Now I've already visited a few sites without any protection whatsoever apart from the Windows firewall and we'll see if it finds anything with a quick scan. Whilst it's updating you will get this rather large pop-up. Just click OK to close the window. OK the updates have been installed. It will self-close or you can just click close and the scan window will open and it will perform a quick system scan. And here we have the program initializing and I'll pause it and come back when it's finished the scan. OK the quick scan is completed. Absolutely nothing found. We'll close that and as you can see it took less than a minute. So we'll end that and open the user interface. Now the first thing you want to do is click on configuration. When you're in the configuration window click expert mode. Tick that box. Now scan. Use smart extensions. Leave these settings as they are. You can also allow stopping the scan and leave that pre-ticked. Action on detection. Interactive. This is fine. Archives. You want to ensure that all of these boxes are ticked and if you use any of these mail boxes tick the applicable box beside it. And apart from that leave the settings as they are. Exceptions. You can simply browse your computer and omit files from the scanner. They will not be protected. They will not be scanned. Simply browse and add it. Heuristics, macrovirus heuristic and advanced heuristic to analysis and detection. Leave that as it is on medium detection level. Report. Default will do fine for most users. Advanced users may want extended or complete. Guard. Again, expand the plus. Change this to use smart extensions. And preset is scan when reading and writing. You also want to scan the archive. And I will change this to 5 which will give it the depth. Action on detection, use event log, block auto start function. Pre-ticked is exclude CDs and DVDs. So they will not, they will auto run unless you untick this box. So if you don't want them to auto run, untick the box. Exceptions. Again you can omit processes and file objects not to be scanned by the guard. They will be ignored. Heuristics. Again, leave this as it is. It's preset and it's fine that way. Report. Default is fine for most users and write configuration and report file. Advanced users may want to use extended or complete and limit the file size. Update. It's preset and activated. It will update every day and repeat job if time has expired. You can change this if you like, but you can leave it alone. It's quite happy. Product update. Download and install product updates automatically, which is recommended. Sometimes it will require a reboot. So be careful of this if you're using full screen apps or whatever. You need to save your work. So you can change this and download product updates. And if a restart is necessary, install the update after the system restart. And notify if user if product updates are available or do not download product updates. Restart settings. You can change the restart. Here it's preset to 300 seconds. The problem with this is it cannot be cancelled. If you have it set to remind a message for restart, you'll have a two minute 
warning about it and you can also query whether the computer should be restarted. Web server. Use existing connection. Proxy settings. If you use a proxy server, you can either use the Windows system settings or use a specific proxy server by entering the full details here. General. Threat categories. Tick all these boxes. You must select all. The defaults are not good enough. Security. Alert if last update older than seven days. Leave these settings as they are. Protect processes from unwanted termination. Protect files and registry entries from manipulation. Advanced process protection. This will increase CPU usage and slow your scans. So leave that unticked in most cases. Windows management instrumentation is supported. Events. You can delete all events older than 30 days is the default. I will make this seven days. Advanced users may want to make their own changes. Reports again, I will change this to seven days. Directories, the default directory that it uses is documents and settings or uses application data, Avira, Antivir, Desktop, Temp. Acoustic alerts, use PC speakers, you'll get a bleeping sound when it finds something, only in interactive mode. You can also use your own WAV file if you so wish, or no warning whatsoever if the sound gets a bit too much for you. Warnings, leave those as they are. Click apply, then click OK, and that's it, you've done your settings. Local protection. Now the normal setting is local drives, and I'm going to change this to scan for rootkits and my C drive, and leave it at that. Guard, it will just scan in the background, it scanned 315 files and it will show you if any virus or PUPs are found. Administration. Quarantine is the quarantine area. Scheduler. It has one preset but it's not enabled. What you do need to do is click here. You can leave it on the default settings for the names. And because I've changed what I wanted, I will change this to manual selection. Click next. I don't want it immediately. Weekly would do fine. On a Sunday. And I will make this 11.30 on a Sunday, repeat if the job has expired, and shut down the computer if the job is done. The program can run invisible, minimized, or maximized. Click finish, and that's it, the task is done. So every week on a Sunday, it will scan at 11.30, then close the computer. We go back to the overview, and that really is it, it's set up. You can look at events, and you get the information, you look at reports and nothing's been found, update was successful. Now what I will do is a second video to follow this one and test it. If you want more information check out my blog which is Free PC Security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk